Welcome to this overview of PXF Smoother. So here I have a photo of somebody with a slightly imperfect skin. I want to get rid of the imperfections. Of course, I could use a regular Nuke blur node. So I'm creating a blur node here. And let's say I'm blurring the image 30 pixels. I'm getting rid of all the imperfections. Unfortunately, I'm also getting rid of all the small detail, the high frequency detail, like eyebrows, eyelashes, skin pores, uh, film grain, and so on. So you can think of an image as a, a bunch of frequency bands. So you've got the high frequency stuff, which is the small detail, the medium frequency stuff, which is usually what we want to get rid of, and the low frequency stuff, which is usually the gradient of the lighting and so on. So we want to get rid of the medium stuff, but we want to keep the high and the low stuff. So to do that, we could use a PXF smoother. So let's bring that in. I'm going to create a new PXF smoother here, connect it to our image. And by default, you can see uh, funky stuff happening. So to understand what's going on, I'm going to set the small blur down to zero and the big blur to 30, the same as our uh, blur here. So we've got the blur set to 30 and smoother is behaving exactly like our blur. So no, nothing fancy yet. Let's have a look now. If we want to bring in the small detail, we would bring up the small blur value. And as I bring up the small blur value, you can see small detail coming back. So you can see eyebrows, eyelashes, edges, film grain, all that stuff is coming back. So now everything is filtered between 6 and 30. So we're uh, removing our mid frequencies here. So all the high frequency, the small stuff below 6 pixels is kept and everything above 30 pixels is kept as well. So that gap between the two sliders is what we get rid of here. So the mid uh, band between 6 and 30 pixels is what we're filtering out here. So of course, this is a bit aggressive. It's kind of a general uh, soften. Uh, you probably don't want to apply that to the entire uh, frame. So of course, you have a mask input that you can use. I'm going to use a paint node here as the mask and use a brush stroke set to white. I'm going to bring down the hardness to get a bunch of feather, crank up the size. And then if I apply my brush stroke, then I can limit the effect of my smooth only on areas where it makes sense and it gives me a good result. So I can smooth not only um, uh, pimples and so on, but I can smooth also the lighting. So you can see the shadows are becoming softer, which is pretty cool. Here we go. So it can get rid of a bit of shininess as well. Here we go. like so. So let's compare. I'm going to turn off the node here. This is before and this is after. So with very minimal effort, we're getting a very natural looking result. And I still have grain and uh, small detail like uh, pores and hair and so on. So you can see the eyelashes aren't uh, affected. So that gives me a pretty good result. Of course, if the actor is moving, then my alpha needs to be moving. You could use Nuke's uh, smart vectors to track the paint strokes so you don't have to animate your roto completely by hand. Here we go. So that's uh, most of the settings. The only setting we haven't touched yet is gamma. So let's remove our alpha here, our mask. You can see sometimes if you have a bright area right next to a dark area, you can see that the smoother is blooming and you are having bright stuff spilling in the dark stuff. To limit that effect, we have a gamma slider here. So if I crank up the gamma to two or three, you can see that the bright areas are not blooming as much in the dark areas. So that's why there's a gamma control here. So that's default and let's say two or three here. That's better in the hair. So the skin is not blooming in the hair in this case. And also we have a mix slider so we can blend back the original frame. If the effect is a little too intense, we can adjust how much we want so we can mix the effect 
on and off just like any nuke node that's got a mix knob there you go so that was the overview of pxf smoother i hope you've enjoyed it and i'll see you in the next video goodbye